How do you enjoy anime? Do you want long, epic sagas spanning hundreds of episodes, taking you to a world you've never seen before? Or perhaps you just want a narrative that, while not as fantastical, still takes its time to weave its beautiful tale through the course of several arcs. Or maybe you just want to watch a quick, short series with cliffhangers so amazing that you can binge the entire series in one night. This is the Anime Regen, and for today's video, we're going to be talking about my top 10 personal favorite anime that you can binge in one night. Whether it's for the dramatic cliffhangers, or for the simply engaging narrative. These are 10 of the shows that I can recommend if you're looking for something that you can binge in a night or two. Hey, 4-6 to six hours ain't too much, right? Especially when you're enjoying yourself. Also, I will try and keep the genres varied, so that there's going to be a little bit for everyone. The idea of uncannily humanoid robots living alongside actual people has been toyed around with in various stories. Anime is no exception, and one of my personal favorites in that genre is our first entry, Plastic Memories. Whereas most series that deal with the coexistence of technology and humanity often tackle the subject matter in the form of an action series, Plastic Memories takes a more dramatic approach. Or so it seems. While the anime's initial premise of collecting dying androids make it seem to be a hard drama show, Plastic Memories is actually a story about our protagonist, the human Tsukasa, and the robot Isla, and their relationship. It surprised me with how it became quite lighthearted and comedic at times. It surprised me with how it became quite lighthearted and comedic at times. Still, nothing lasts forever, and eventually our main duo must come to terms with the fact that the latter has an expiration date, and they should make the most out of it. I'm gonna change the world! Kill him! Coming in with a lighter vibe, similar to Plastic Memories in terms of aesthetics, is the Jun Maeda original Charlotte. We've probably all come to know the latter for his expertise in visual novel storytelling in Tearjerkers, and he looked to bring that magic back in this 2015 anime. It tells the story of Yu Otosaka, and how he gets roped into transferring into a school full of students with supernatural abilities. Teaming up with Nao and the student council, Yu looks to stop adolescents who abuse their powers while learning more about the secret truth behind his powers. In some ways, Charlotte reminds me of Angel Beats. It looks just as pretty, and it has a tangentially similar premise. When it comes down to it, it has the school setting where high schoolers form an organization where they grow closer as we learn more about their tragic pasts. If you're a fan of Jim Maeda's other works, then you might want to check this one out. I've just always had a huge crush on you. How do you feel about me? Tsuki Gakire, our number 8 entry, is quite a simple show. Kotaro Azumi and Akane Mizuno, our main characters, first meet each other in school and quickly notice each other through their passing glances. As they begin to work together for the sports festival, the two begin to realize that they have a lot more in common than they once thought. All the tiny flags of a budding romance slip into their lives. However, only a fool would think that the world of love is that simple. Oftentimes, it comes with its own fair share of complications. The road ahead of the two is unclear and rife with tension, and it will take a strong bond to overcome these and grow. Grow to the point of getting the courage to utter a fateful question. I think that a charm with Tsuki Gakire is its simplicity. Oftentimes, I feel that rom-coms often have that big gimmick, that eye-catcher, or the like to get people's attention and drag them along with the premise. However, this show makes up for it in realism. It doesn't seem to be a show out to revolutionize the genre, but it doesn't need to be when it can craft a story flow that is so engaging in its own way due to its characters and their relationships. It's an honest venture into the very saturated genre that becomes a winner with its great execution. Now, here's a show that a lot of us young adults can relate to, Grand Blue. Much like Ayori, we find ourselves at a crossroads in life, having lost a true sense of where to go. Perhaps instead of overthinking it, we just gotta sit back, relax, and let life take us through its unpredictable waves. At least that's what Ayori gets himself into when he moves to the coastal town of Izu and finds himself sucked into the wild activities of the resident diving club. Now a reluctant member of the party, Ayori is left with only one option. Try to survive the craziness of the group while keeping himself as sane as possible. Grand Blue is a show that promises non-stop laughter and craziness that will make you lose track of time. 
say goodbye to those four to six hours of a lazy weekend night due to the hilarity that this show provides with its endless gags and wild facial expressions. The past year has given us a slew of Korean webtoon adaptations. They can be a bit hit or miss for a lot, but among them, I can say that my favorite is Tower of God. When Rachel, Bam's only friend, disappears in his quest to scale the tower, he finds his life taking an unwelcome turn. In a bid to go after Rachel, he finds himself scaling the tower on his own, only to find himself in hostile territory. New tests and challenges lie on every floor of a tower filled with inhabitants that look down on irregulars, those who enter the structure without invitation. Each floor of this maddening structure is a trial that will test Bam's mettle and will, as he races to reunite with his friend. Tower of God, as a webtoon, is by far one of the most popular ones out there. It is largely thanks to its character development and extraordinary world building. However, talking about it won't just do it justice. Go and watch it and see the entire adaptation in one go and find out what all the buzz is about and head on to reading the webtoon. something a bit more edgy and morally grey. If you're looking for something like that with a villainous set of protagonists, then perhaps Terror in Resonance will tickle your fancy. The series follows a duo of terrorists, known by their alias as Sphinx, who lay down the challenge to the police as they leave their explosive marks all across Tokyo. With panic and terror gripping the populace and the duo's expertise, the police find themselves at wit's end. That is, until the duo meet their match in Shibataki Kenjiro, the lone detective capable of matching their riddles and clues, the two forces collide in an epic game of cat and mouse. Suspense, drama, and philosophical questions about morality await in this thriller that will surely keep you up all night. Ever had the time when you take a look at the seasonal charts and find a show that seems average, but then when you actually take a look at it and watch it, well, you get hooked? That's me with Made in Abyss. And looking back in hindsight, I didn't realize what a gem I actually stumbled across. Made in Abyss is an adventure series that follows Nico, an orphan who has big dreams of solving the mystery of the abyss, a daunting chasm filled with artifacts, creatures, treasures, you name it. Nico's life as an aspiring cave raider changes when she encounters a humanoid robot who she named Reg, with a hint that her missing mother might be on the fabled depths of the abyss, Rico and Reg venture down the depths of the chasm. Having finished this run in 2017 to great critical acclaim, Made in Abyss is completely worth your time. It has a lot of things that you may like, from lighthearted adventures, thrilling your moments, beautiful artwork, and amazing character chemistry. It's a story that hooks you in, and thanks to its suspenseful and sometimes traumatic elements, it never lets go, making it one of the best shows to binge. I have to live and be free. Just when I started off the list talking about a show about humanity and technology, well, here we go again. Violet Evergarden, despite also dealing with the theme of mechanical humans and their sense of purpose, is a far contrast from plastic memories, eschewing the comedic and lighthearted parts in favor of going full dramatic and somewhat philosophical with this execution. Violet Evergarden is set in a world that is on the cusp of recovery after being ravaged by a great war. The titular character, a young girl raised for the purpose of combat, now begins to ponder her purpose with only words from her dearest person to guide her. Now working for CH Postal Services, she takes interest in the job of an auto-memory doll, transcribing people's thoughts on paper. With this new life, she embarks on a road of self-discovery while also learning more about the human heart. It is also by far the most artistic show in the bunch. So if you're someone who enjoys anime for the cinematic aspects, Violet Evergarden is going to be your favorite for a long time to come. <laughs> What's better than some time travel hijinks for the second place on the list? With Erase, I can think I can confidently say that a lot of us have had to deal with what ifs. We get hung up on what ifs, and in some cases, those what ifs end up affecting our future in more direct ways. And an unfortunate victim of such circumstances is Satoru Fujinuma. After the murder of his mother, he finds himself with the uncanny ability to go back in time. Specifically, he goes back to his childhood years, when he gets reacquainted with the girl, Kayo Hinazuki. It is a race through time to uncover the mystery of the past and 
and change the present, with the girl seemingly being the key to the puzzle. Among the shows that I've listed, Erased is by far the best in coming up with cliffhangers. I just can't put my device down watching it, because each episode digs deeper into the mystery while adding more and more elements that I want to see resolved. If you're up for some binging, definitely put this anime at the top of your watch list. <laughs> Now today, we're going to end our list with what I believe is one of the best shows that has recently concluded, and it's Horimiya. At first glance, Horimiya may not seem like much. After all, how many school rom-coms have we seen already? The setup doesn't seem too unique, but there is a very good reason why Horimiya was considered one of the most anticipated titles entering the season. However, Horimiya showcases sheer excellence in character drama and development. I like rom-coms, but the genre is not my number one favorite. Still. I can't help but keep binging this show because of the emotional connections that it made through not only its main characters, but also the side characters. I just can't wait to see what fate lies ahead for our mismatched pair, Hori and Miyamura. The chemistry is just there, and I do think the title deserves all the hype. That is why, among the recent anime that I've watched, I think Hori Mia is the number one recommendation for a show that you can binge overnight. And with that, we wrap up our list of the top 10 anime you can binge in a night. For those who watch these, please tell me what you think of my recommendations in the comment section down below. For those who found a new show to watch, thanks to this list, then please let me know about that as well. I would love nothing better than to meet new friends through anime, and I'd want to know if I helped some people discover a brand new show to like through this video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Your help is going to be really appreciated, and I really want to grow this channel to provide even more anime content like this. Thank you, and have a great day.